kuti mukafika pamene musamaone malire amen in my distress oh come on say with me so in my distress so the lord enlarged me anitabasura Trouble is not the end of your life. Your life. You are not strangled by the troubles of life. You can be elevated from anywhere. Can I finish? 31. It says, and has not shut me. It says, has not shut me up unto the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a what? Large wood. You, you must understand. There are some times. It's not the, the trouble. But it's the people holding you. you. You need to hear me now. There are some of you who say. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. Sometimes. When the enemies shut you down. And you see no option. God when he comes in your life he gives you the opportunity right there in the enemy's car this is what God used to do when there was no food in Israel God could go and chase the enemies so that the enemy's food becomes Israel's food you haven't heard what I've said to you Israel was not eating well but when the Philistines were coming, they were bringing people in it. Wonderful attires. You know what they are saying about Ukraine? They are saying Ukraine didn't have much armory. They didn't have all these good tanks. But when Russia came, Ukraine was busy taking the weapons of Russia, helicopters and the tanks. They are shooting the enemy with his, with his own weapons. Your enemies are not a limitation. When they have surrounded you and closed every option, they will be the vessels for your increase. Can I talk to someone here? Don't hate anybody. Connect to everyone. Once you connect to everyone, the season of enlargement is coming. You will need them to support you. They will become vessels, networks. You are not getting me. Can I become clear to you? Nowadays, the word enemy does not really mean enemy. Because we cannot have enemies. In the urban English, which I have searched in the Bible, the word enemy nowadays is translated competitor. Your competitors, your peers, are your Ukapita uku atsogolele naso and uma zati ndazingidwa palibe komwe ndingapite you have no clue brother oh you have no idea you have no idea they are not your closed doors they are your very opportunity for your rising can i speak more clearly your competitors should not pass the judgment over your life. Should not tell you where it is over. When you see a competition, dare to come close. You will realize it's your season for your elevation. It's your season for your promotion. The enemy cannot shut you up. The Lord will give you room. He will cause you to step in a large. A large place. If this one you don't understand it, it's still alright. Let me finish with you. Let's just read, let's just read Psalms. Okay? 40. Chapter 40 from verse 1. The word of God is sweet. It's sharper than a double-edged sword. It goes deep. And it pierces where the soul and the spirit they meet. I waited patiently for the Lord. 
And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. And then he says, go on. And then he says, verse 2, he brought me up also out of the what? The horrible pit. Out of the miry clay. Does he just lift you up there and leave you? No. He sets you up. He says, and he has set my feet upon a rock. And what has he done? He has established my goings. God does not stop at deliverance. He has delivered you. He has taken you from the situations of pain and trouble. Once he picks you from there, he will continue with you until he has set you up on a high place. There is something that travels with us. It will not leave you in any situation. It is called glory. Next time I will start from there. Verse 3. Let's look at it. And he has put. <laughs> he has put a what? A new song in my mouth. And even praise unto who? Our God, many shall see it and fear it. He says, and they shall trust in who? In the Lord. That's the whole idea. God does not want people to point at anything of the flesh. That's why he allows you sometimes to fail the exam. He allows you sometimes your business not to make money. But he will not allow you to fail. These things are different. He will not allow you to say degree He will not allow you to say that. But he will not allow you if you don't have that paper to fail in life. I, do you get what I'm telling you here? What I am saying is the things God has not allowed you to have do not stop your future because God will not fail your future but he will stop corruption when you, when you can be corrupted he can stop it. That's what he did to Paul. He stopped some things in the life of Paul. But he never stopped Paul. So that Paul came again and said, I have fought the good fight of faith. He says, I have finished it. He finished it. Though God never allowed him to become too proud in the flesh to there in glory. His plan is to be glorified. That is why in these days God wants to join you. He does not want to leave you. He wants to take you through the journey. What I've just told you now is for you to change your understanding. Some people don't understand. They say, why are you preaching about this? Preach about this. You don't understand the plan of God. The plan of God is to pick you from that pit, from the mire clay, and not leave you here, but to splash water on you put soap on you. And after washing you, he will pick you up from there. Give you a platform where you can stand. And after standing there, he leaves a song in your mouth. It's a process that must be completed. And some of you, you are still in that process. Amen. Amen. A platform is waiting. Mm -hmm. 
Ukasamba uma zavala no suit. Amen. Uma zaika no makeup. Amen. Ndikuima hapo nkuzane na kuti ndione ni sopano. Oh, yes. That's why he says they shall see it and they shall be afraid. Sopa. They will see the lipstick Achaona. and say what is happening to the sister. Shalongo ajawa. They can see it. Akosa kuona and they will fear God. Something is happening to someone. Hallelujah. Distress is not distraction. I have three things that I don't know what to do with them. But let me just give you one. Distress is Say with me, territories. Madera. Say it again, territories. Madera. And so, Jacob. Jacob. Actually, he was very rich. Uh, who is this? Isaac. Yeah? He was Isaac. so rich. Guess what God did to him? He allowed him to move. And he went to a place where they denied him the well. Well or one, well or two, well or three. Until he dug the other well. And there, there was no trouble. When he now found the well, he speaks something remarkable. He says, the Lord has brought me to a large place. He says, I will now be fruitful in this land. This man is already rich. He has everything. But he says, now the Lord has brought me to Rehobo. A large place. And I will prosper. Here, what is he talking about? When territory is when the Lord wants to enlarge your life, He will give you territories to conquer. Territories to conquer. There is one thing you need to know. I, I will not go into the scriptures. But because of time. When He took Israel, you understand, sir? He, t he told them. I'm taking you to a land which flows with milk and honey. He brought them there. Guess what? This is what he was telling the 12 tribes. He says, this is your land. After giving them the land, he could say, all the way, all the way to Euphrates, it is your land. But though he could tell them that, those places were not available. The Bible says, because the war had to be fought. What God was believing is that Joshua will not stop at Chilobwe. He will conquer all the way. You understand what I'm telling you? Difficulty is not the end of your life. Hmm. Go with me to Psalm 118. When it's hard, it does not mean you are a small person. Look at verse number five. Verse number five. Look at this. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is what? He is what? And he says, he is good because his mercy endures how long? Endures how long? Endures how long? Do you know what forever means? He says, as long as you are still pushing things, the Lord will still continue with you. He will not stop. He will continue with you. Go where, where, where are you? Can you go down to verse number five? Very quick. Let verse five. I called upon the Lord in the distress. And he says, the Lord answered me. And he said to me, where? 
in a large, large word. And a line placed there. It's the location. It's the place where he will never allow you to remain small. Let's go to other one. 31 now. Chapter 31. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Give me, let me just jump this. Give me Exodus chapter, okay, Judges chapter 3, 18, sorry. Let me jump this. Chapter 18 from verse 10. Where is 18? 18, uh, 18 Judges from verse 10. Say with me, territories. Madeira. Say it again, territories. Madeira. When you go, you shall come unto a people secure, very safe people, and what well of protected, know. and to a large land. He says, for God has given it into who? When you come, you will come to a land so secure, so well You think there is no room for you. But he says, that large land, God has given it unto you, unto your hands. A place where there is no want of anything. That is not in heaven, in the earth. Territories are still there. And God emphasizes on the earth. Not in heaven. Territories are still available. On the earth. Your gift requires greater territories. Your anointing requires greater territories. And that is what the Lord is opening. I've got two more things I want to speak with your life. But I know I cannot share all of them. What I will tell you is the will of God is that when he has connected to your life he should never leave you the way you came. The will of God is now to enlarge your territory. And I am trusting the Father that with what I have just shared with you, you are going to pick up your mantles. You are going to pick up the supply from God. The anointing of the Spirit of God. You will step into territories which will be key for your progress. Someone has to take territories that will allow the healing anointing to flow. Someone has to take territories that will allow your skill to flourish. Someone has to jump into new spaces. Because God enlarges you so that you can take new territories. He enlarges you beyond where you are. Beyond your, your location and the place of your boundaries. That's how God enlarges us. He does not enlarge you in the same place. He enlarges you beyond boundaries. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is starting tonight. We are about school. It's starting tonight. It is starting tonight. What you have not touched, you will be able to touch it. Can I speak more clearly? You have not been able to be there for everyone, but the Lord is enlarging you so that you don't just have enough for yourself. You can now touch your sister. You can now touch your brother because you have got no limits now. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Your anointing was just enough for you, but now the Lord says when you stretch your hand you can now touch other people beyond you you can now reach the people that you were not able to reach hey 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 are you listening to me people you are in this room you will speak a word and the whole world will be looking for that word 
You will speak wisdom. And everyone who search for that wisdom. I am saying to someone in this room. You will have a skill. And that skill, banks will be looking for it. Countries will be looking for it. Oh, you need to understand. You will have ideas. And those ideas, multitudes will be looking for them. Because, ladies and gentlemen, there is no limit to how far a child of God can go. Something is happening right now. Something is happening right now. The Lord says, listen to me. My own creatures, I created you. I created you. I will supply what you need. I will supply what you need. I want you to raise your hands. Just raise your hands. Just raise your hands. Just raise your hands. Just raise your hands. I don't know if you are ready. You have been in so many meetings. I don't want you to take the Lord for granted. I want you to know something is, is being released in this place. I am going to trust the Lord. I want to trust the Lord that the army of angels the army of angels will walk in our midst with the baskets of supply. With the baskets of supply. Whoever doesn't have an anointing, they will bring to you a basket of an anointing. Whoever does not have a gift, the Lord through his angels will walk up unto you and will give you that basket. In it there is an anointing. In it there is grace. In it there are opportunities. In it there is wisdom. In it there is a supply. Today I want to trust the Lord. You are my brothers, my sisters. I have grown among you. But I want to trust the Lord. He will walk with his angels. He will walk with his angels. He will walk with his angels. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wherever you are sitting, wherever you are standing, make an agreement with the Father. Tell the Lord I can sense my time. I can sense my time. I can sense my time. I believe this is my time to be enlarged. I believe this is my hour. I cannot be small. Territories must fall. They must fall. My mind, distress, they will not limit me anymore. Are you ready? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the honor, the honor of your angels, the 